Hey guys, welcome back to the Dabbler's Den. This is Chris Cottrell, um, and I just wanted to put out a quick video. You know, I, I tend to spend a lot of time uh, looking at uh, areas closer to my home, you know, in South Georgia, uh, South Carolina. But I had a viewer, uh, Mr. Joe Blow, uh, who pointed out uh, a couple really unique and very interesting areas a little farther north um, in the Maryland area, close to the, che actually part of the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, which is an interesting area anyways. Um, there is a crater found within the Chesapeake Bay that dates back to over 35 million years. Uh, um, and, and so it's already kind of an, you know, an astrologically unique area. Uh, but we also are finding a lot of evidence of this Carolina Bay um, forming event that I've been discussing, you know, where we had an impact into the Saginaw Bay area, which threw chunks of ice all across the East Coast. Um, if if they landed in unconsolidated sediments, uh, more than likely they formed the Carolina Bays. Uh, but also part of this hypothesis is that if they landed into wet areas, you know, a river or a lake, um, they would have created a, a splash chevron that has been misidentified as windblown um, parabolic dunes. And so, um, so Joe, you know, he pointed this out and I, and I wanted to put out a quick video just to kind of highlight it. I don't spend a lot of time that far north and uh, so it's kind of, and I had a notice ease, so I'm glad Joe uh, was, you know, he downloaded the program um, to to actually use the LIDAR and he, he found these and sent them to me. And uh, so I definitely want to talk that uh, talk about them. And and Joe, you get the credit for this. So, uh, so good job. Um, anyhow, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. You know, here's here's Maryland. Here's the Chesapeake Bay. Um, and, you know, if you've ever driven up through like Virginia Beach and, and on into Maryland, um, you know this whole area is pretty neat uh you know here's here's that tunnel uh that that you go through the, underneath the chesapeake bay uh, but let me go and click over to the lidar and um we can see that as soon as you get out of the tunnel and uh you know, on, you know through fisherman's island into holly bluff you know we start to notice tons of carolina bays you know again this is all sandy sediment um and it just got completely you know, hammered with these ice chunks that created these Carolina Bays. Um, but this isn't necessarily the area that we were uh, pointing out. I just wanted to show you those because, uh, again, just to show that this whole area was inundated and, and we do have Carolina Bays. We also see them in these uh, lower areas. Um, I think a lot of this might have been washed out at some point. Uh, so we, we, you know, we don't see near as many Carolina Bays. Uh, but the area that he wanted me to focus on uh, was right here. Uh, near the uh, Nanticoke area. Uh, this river is actually called the Nanticoke River. And uh, if you notice, you'll see these splash chevrons we're referring to all down this river. And there's, there's you know, more examples of this, but this is where, where he pointed me out, uh, pointed me to. Uh, and you can see here, here's those splash chevrons that we focused on. And, and currently right now, I'm actually doing a lot of work with these splash chevrons. Um, a couple weeks ago, I collected sediments from these, uh, from chevrons farther south uh and i've been sifting through them we've been uh, organizing them by grain size and um hopefully you know antonio zamor and i will, will be able to put this together and uh kind of help add to the puzzle and, and and help try to figure this out uh but anyways here we have these splash chevrons notice the orientation uh we have more of a uh, northwest to southeast orientation here we're farther north than what we were looking at before so i would expect to see this anyhow uh, but this whole area is just completely you know, you can see these these splash chevrons all on the eastern bank of these rivers. And you can see, I mean, here are evidence of, of these Carolina Bays um, on the western side. And then all of the, if they landed in an area where there was a river already, more than likely that's, that sand got splashed out, creating these chevrons. And that's what we find. And we find them all up and down this river. Also notice the, um, the, the width of the floodplain here. Um, not near as wide as what we see farther south, uh, but still you can see that there was a lot of water flowing through here after all of this other, you know, uh, formations were were uh, formed. So, you know, we've got the Carolina Bays, we've got these splash chevrons, and then this floodplain was created uh, using the law of superposition. So, uh, but yeah, all up this river uh, we see this. So there was something major going on here to create this. Uh, and to have all of this on this side. Um, and, and interesting, you know, we don't see a lot of Carolina Bays. There is evidence of Carolina Bays. Um, but like if you see in this area here, let me click off of the borders and the roads so we can see a little bit better. 
Uh, but here we have some of these parabolic dune splash chevron features in the middle here. And, and so this could either be evidence of water just completely rushing over this area, or it could be windblown. You know, it's, it's in the middle. There's not a lot of, you know, water to be pushing the sand up. But we do find these dune-like features, you know, out here in the middle of, what's this, Delaware probably. So, um, so yeah, there's a lot going on here. Uh, I, I want to make sure that Joe gets the credit for this. Uh, he pointed this out to me. Uh, and uh, lots to see here. Lots of sand being moved around. Um, and then we have these, I mean, here's, here's an, I don't know what the name of this river is, but we can see the same thing happening here where we've got Carolina Bays. And then we have these uh, sand chevrons on the eastern side of the rivers. Um, again, it's very telling. Uh, you know, once you start to see it with the eyes that I'm seeing it with, you know, that's the, the story is there. Uh, we just have to learn how to read this story a little bit better. Uh, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, I hope you guys are following along. If you have questions, please ask. If you, if you like Joe, you know, come across some areas that are very interesting like this, let me know and I'll put together a quick video uh, discussing them. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.